Hi, I'm Erin with Planning Life with Erin, and in this video, I am going to be going over my planner lineup for the rest of 2022. Um, I am using Happy Planner, and I'm a Franken Planner. So if you're interested in checking out this video, stick around. Here, and this is your first time seeing my hands. Hi, how are you? I am so happy you're here with me. And if you are returning, hi, how are you? Good to see you again. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be, this has been a very requested video and I'm finally getting a chance to do it. Um, so I'm gonna be going over what planners I add into my main planner. Um, I am a Franken planner. I don't know if I'm gonna stay that way um, for 2023. I am still kind of working things out. But I thought I would share with you what I am adding into my planner now. I am changing some things out, um, which I've, I've actually already taken those things out. So I was using, um, what planner was I using? The horizontal, I tried that once. I had that in here for journaling. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep it separate. I don't need it in this planner. And I pulled something else out of here. What did I pull out of here? I can't remember. Oh, and then I just had journaling pages from the Happy, let me see. I can never remember the name of it. It was the yellow journaling um, planner. Be happy planner, I think it was called. I think I have it over here. Oh, I can't get it. Um, so yeah, I took that out too because I decided I wanted to keep my journaling separate from my planning. And I also have a budgeting um, planner that I use, but it's for the budget mom. So I can't really add that in here, although I might for 2023 because it's just going to be a principal so we'll see, everything's a work in progress. But I have all of the planners that I do use, so I will go over that. So I recently, I have not used this one yet. This is the Daily Planner. Oh, my camera is not up high enough. I think that might be better. So this is the Daily Planner with daily pages in it. This is going to be the new addition to my planner right now. I have my catch-all. That's what I use for everything so i have that i always add that in there it's a classic vertical um let me see oh i have so many things over here i have my hourly this is a new addition this is something that i added in in july so i add this in this is for like my stuff and like time management things um i also use the dashboard this might be changing um I use the dashboard for all things social media and things like that, but this one I might be changing. So for 2023, I have to like sit down and think about what my plans are because my vertical um, layout, the catch-all, that is running out. And also my dashboard will be coming to an end. Um, so I might keep those the same. I might change it out a little bit. I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of playing around with things, but right now, the new additions is going to be the daily sheets. Um, and I'm actually, and I guess a, another new addition would be my hourly because I was keeping it separately, but I think I want to add it all into my catch-all, um, into my um, my main planner, right, that I frame and plan. And I also have um, my teacher layout that I'm going to start using for all things kids because um, things are starting to get a little busy now. Okay, so bear with me because I've never actually really done one of these on camera, so it might get a little messy. But we'll see. All right, so I want to start with, what do I want to start with? I want to start with, I, so I already have, I'll show you guys what I already have. So I didn't take out my September. I tend to keep like a month or two, like so I can kind of go back and see <clears throat> what might have happened, um, different appointments that might have changed or, you know, things like that. Um, I did add in off camera. Let's see. I added in, I don't know where I got these. I found them when I was cleaning out all my planner supplies, but I found these nice clear top tab dividers. So I added in daily, weekly, schedule, and business. I did have, um, I had these floating tabs. Let me see. I was using these for a while. Um, again, I cannot remember where I got them from. I'll have to like look, but um, they're nice. I like them. The problem is, is that I would take them off to work with my planner and then I would put them down and I would lose them. So I only have two right now because I don't know what happened to the other ones. 
My cat probably found them and it's now a cat toy. But, um, so I went back to this frosted cover or divider. Um, I created this, I made this for myself, it's just a little bookmark. And um, I'm going with fall, fall and Halloween spooky vibes with this planner. Okay, so now I already have these separated out. So I'm going to start with my daily pages. Um, let me move this out of the way and we'll get to these. So I'm going to add in a good amount. I think that this planner, this came from the fall collection. I think there's four months worth of dailies in here. And I like to have these because some days get super duper busy uh, and I use a to-do list, but I thought maybe it would be nice if I had it all in my planner so I could kind of like the night before, write it all down, figure it out, and then kind of, you know, disperse. Um, well, I can look at my, hi, let me try that again. It's early still, guys. My brain is not fully awake. So I figure if I have the dailies in here, I can kind of go through my work schedule um, and then anything like doctors, school things, and I can kind of put it on here for a reminder. And it's just like a quick glance, like maybe I'll have this open during the day kind of thing and double check and cross reference and all the things. Okay, so this is my weekly section. Let me see what I can do with, I need like a side table. I think that's what I've established. I need like a rolling file cabinet type thing that will roll out and I can use the top to put things on. So if you guys have been here for a little while, you know I don't have a ton of space. Okay, um, I'm gonna add in my daily pages next. So, and not my daily pages, my, um, oh my gosh, I can't do two things at once. <laughs> my uh, vertical, hi, my catch all. Words are difficult. It's early here still. I just took my kids to school. You'll probably periodically hear me um, take a sip of my coffee because we're still in coffee vibes. Oh, do I want to put this in? Hold on. Yes. I want to put in my September currently because I like to look back and I like to see what's changed, if anything. And then we're going to, I have not done my October currently yet. I'm going to work on that today. Lots of things to do today. All right, so then we're going to add in October. And like I said, I only really like to keep two months in here because then it gets too big. And I don't really like a super big planner. I like them to be, you know, kind of meaty, but not too big. Um, okay, so now I have my, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill in more things. So I have this stuff off to the side that I'm very excited to show you guys. All right, now I'm going to be adding in, I have my hourly planner. Let's see, I've kind of been slacking on a little bit because things have been crazy and I'm trying very hard to get reorganized. That's why I wanted to do this because I feel like I've been all over the place. I usually like to have my hourly in a separate planner, but right now with things and how busy I've been, I just need something that I can either grab one book and leave the house with because when I leave work, I go and pick up my kids. So I'm just kind of sitting in the car. So I want to have like a little bag that I take with me with my planner supplies and I only want to take one book with me. So I think that's why I was slacking a little bit. Um, and let's face it, sometimes we just don't have good months and that's fine or good weeks and that's okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to be adding in my hourly section and this again is to help me with my time management um, and coming up with things that just work for me in a day, making sure I get the most important things done, my top priorities and checking in on certain um, habits that I've been trying to <clears throat> stick with, like journaling and reading, which has been really bad. But we'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so I already did my October Currently page. I believe I already put that up, so check that out. And let's see, next up is business. So that's going to be my dashboard. Oh, what is that? And let's see, we need October. So we'll put out our October. Ah. Okay, I think I might actually, so I didn't realize this, but these are metal discs. These are the white ones. I think I got them in like a seasonal box or something. Um, and I might use these on another planner. 
I realized it yesterday when I was going through my planners. I was like, ooh, these are metal. So I might use them, but I like these black ones for right now and we're in spooky season, so I'm fine with them. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to do, I don't have a tab for it though, do I? I guess I could use this one. I need another tab. <clears throat> Let me see, how does that look when I close it? All right, that's not terrible. And then I'll just put a label on it for, I don't know what I'm gonna call this one, because this is like what I'm gonna try to use for the kids. Um, things are starting to um, pick up a little bit. So we have an after school program going on, we have dance, so I have a few things now that I'm gonna have to start to remember. So I have an undated teacher layout. Um, and I kind of, I just go with like the tabs that I think kind of go with the season, I guess. So I like this one. This one is, it's, I like the black and white with the gold. It's kind of like spooky for Halloween. Um, and it says one child, one teacher, one book, one pen can change the world. And I'm working right now in a school, uh, in a preschool. And I completely agree with that. Um, I've seen teachers change kids' lives and I feel like, you know, I'm working in the school right now and hopefully I am making a difference in some of these little ones' lives. Um, okay, so I didn't realize this. <laughs> I've had this planner for almost a year. Um, but I didn't realize there's a checklist in the back of this. So what I'm thinking is for 2023, I'm probably gonna use this for like a nice habit tracker. I think this would be really cool for that. So. Just wanted to add that in there if anybody else was like, man, didn't realize that was back there. I thought it was just notes back there, but here we are. And then on this last section, I have some note paper if I need it for anything. And then I have like my vision board, TV shows and books that I have read back in May. <laughs> I will get back into reading. Okay, so now I don't have a cover as you guys can see. So I've got some stuff over here that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So I have this clear, um, I should have cleaned it. I don't know where I got this from. So I'm gonna add this cover in. It's a clear, um, just plastic cover. And get this on there. Ah, okay, my least favorite thing to do is putting things on discs. Typically, I would just start it with rings, but I didn't really feel like taking, I didn't, I wanted to keep these rings and I didn't want to take everything off and like start from the very beginning of everything. So I thought this would work because I'm just kind of revamping. I've always used this. I've always Franken planned. I think since when I first started planning, um, I was Franken planner, but now I'm kind of like perfecting it. I'm seeing what's working, what's not working, that kind of thing. Okay. So I want to talk about this cover that I'm going to add into my planner. It says spooky season. This will be available up in my, sh my Etsy shop on Friday this week. So Friday is, hold on, let me check my calendar. Friday the 7th. So I'm really excited about that. All the things I'm going to be showing you um, right now will all be available in my shop on Friday. So I'm really excited. Um, so I've got a piece of vellum. I printed spooky season on with some spider webs. And then I have just a piece of cardstock. It's a pretty purple color. This is just the color I decided to go with. I will have other colors in my shop for you to choose from if this is something you'd like to add into your planner. This will give you an idea of how that looks. Really liking how that looks. I'm excited to make my planner spooky for the season. Okay, so I want to add in my back cover because you know we don't want that showing so I have um I kind of like this I thought it was really nice for again spooky season it's a floral vellum <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> there goes my voice it's a flower vell vellum and it just kind of reminds me of like you know spooky season they look like they're black roses and I really liked the way that that looks but again you can see right through it so I'm just going to add in another piece of this cardstock behind it. I'll show you guys what that looks like. Oh, I'm already loving this. So pretty. Okay. Now, when I go to my sections, for instance, 
this section right here. I'm gonna take this out for a minute. I kind of was just messing around and I made myself a bookmark. Okay. So I don't really like how I can see that. So I'm gonna add in this dashboard and I have, it's an E, but I can do any initial um, that you'd like. And then I thought it would be really pretty with this behind it. So I haven't actually seen it together. So let's try that out. And then again, you can still see right through that. So I'm gonna add in a third layer. And again, all this stuff will be available. I'm gonna link my shop down below. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I got my spooky going on there. And then when I cover it with this, oh, I like that. I think I like that. I had another option where I have a gold. So let's see how the gold looks. Let's just try it. Just a plain gold vellum. We can have some options. It's nice to have options. Well, that's nice too, but I think I like the spooky. I like the spooky too. So I'm gonna put that back in because I am going for a spooktacular planner right now. Ha 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 ha. I'm into Halloween, guys, in case you didn't know. Okay, so now we have my weekly. What's going on here? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so now I've got some choices here. I've got, I like this boo. Also available in my Etsy shop. And I've got, I think I'm just gonna do this plain tan. Oh, I like that. Spooky. Love it. Oh, I think I put it on backwards. Did I put it on backwards? Did it? Oh no. I punched it on the wrong side. <laughs> it was really late last night, guys, when I did this. So I punched it backwards. But this is just my sample. So let's do this so you guys can get a good idea of what it looks like when it's going the correct way. And you know what the funny thing is? It was really late when I did this last night and I looked at it and I thought maybe it was wrong. And then I looked at it again and it was right. So that tells you where I was at last night. I've been burning the midnight oil, trying to get all this stuff done, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is what it will look like. And I promise you it will be going the right way. Um, but that's okay. It's my planner. So I'm fine. And we're all human, right? This just shows you guys that I'm human too. I'm not perfect, nor do I claim to be. Okay. So there's another divider. We're just going to pretend it doesn't say oob. It says boo. <laughs> okay. So there's that one. Um, and let me see. I want to add in another one, I think, for my schedule. I only have one other one. So I think I want to add it in for my schedule and I'm going to use, I decided to go with this pretty, um, it's like a maroon, it's like a purpley maroon color. I really like this color and I thought it would look really pretty. So I know I'm going for a spooktacular, but I really like this and I thought it was really pretty with this purple and this color for fall. I really liked that. Okay. And now I have... One last for, let me see, did I do, where is it? Okay, so this one has, I don't know if I wanna add that in there. I don't like that. So <clears throat> I do have a couple more sections that I can make some dashboards for. So I still have that option, but let's look at this. Okay. All right, so I've got, my plastic cover. These I will not have in my shop. Um, like I said, I don't know where I got this from and I am trying to learn how to make them. So I will eventually hopefully have them available in my shop or maybe I can buy some in bulk and I can add them into my shop because that'd be really cool because I love this um, option to have a nice clear cover. This vellum will be in my shop and it's going to be a limited time. So because it's spooky season, so it will be limited and I don't have like a ton so get them while they're there and then it'll be added in. I'll do like a nice little layering kit. And you can have some options if you just want a front cover, if you want a front and a back, you'll have variety. Okay, and then I have my calendar. That's what's in this section. And oh, I'm loving this. This is so pretty. 
And I really like how it's right in the front. So this is what I'm going to open up my planner to. I really like this E with the spider webs. And again, I have every initial that you want. So if you want to personalize it, obviously with your initial um, or an H or something for Halloween, I don't know. So there's that. And then this beautiful piece of vellum. Love this. Again, this will be limited and I'm gonna link everything down below, but like something like this will be a set. So you can have a nice layering set in your planner. And let's see. And then of course we have our oob. Oob. <laughs> no, it is boo. Ta-da! Look at that. Um, and then this will be another set as well where you can get the, or not, you can just get the dashboards, whatever, whatever your heart desires. Um, and you can pick whatever color cardstock you want for that extra layer. And let's see. And then last but not least, because I think this one is probably one of my favorites and I can use this through November, is Hello Pumpkin. I love this color. I've been trying to, so I have trouble with the color orange. I love it. Um, but at the same time, it just seemed very bright for a pumpkin and I am going for more like a soft look. Um, but yeah, so there is this one and then there'll, there'll be some other ones. I, I do have other prints. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of something actually, if I can get it soft to the side over here. Actually, no, I'll just do this one. Okay. So again, going back to what I was saying, with a little squirrel there. This will be an option. And then again, if you want it with the set and I have other colors of card, bleh, card stock as well. And all this will be available in my Etsy shop Friday, October 7th. I'm very excited about it. Um, I've been kind of playing around with making some bookmarks. I feel like I want it to be a little bit, um, a little bit thicker than this, I think. But I've been testing it out and I've been kind of playing with this one to see if I, I like it. Um, and then go from there and decide whether or not I'm going to start throwing some bookmarks, things like that. Um, if you have anything that you'd like to see in my shop, please let me know. Something that maybe you've been searching for that I might be able to make for you, you let me know down in the comments below. Um, and then I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Um, okay, so this is another dashboard, and I don't know if you've noticed, but it's a bit smaller than a happy planner because this is a half letter sheet um, size dashboard because I am going to, I think I've mentioned in another video, um, I've definitely been influenced by Elizabeth at EJ Joyful Plans and um, also Fake It Till You Make It, Katie, with their half letter. So I might give it a try. I'm putting one together and that'll be another video, but this is a sneak peek of another type of uh, pattern that you can have in a happy classic or in a half sheet. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Um, if you have any questions, anything like that, any comments, leave them down below. Let me know what do you think about um, the things that I'm going to be adding into my shop this week. I will link all of it down below and be on the lookout for the release on Friday, October 7th. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and spend it with me. I know we're all busy and I appreciate it so much and I'm so happy and grateful to have you here with me. Um, if you are interested and you um, like what you see, uh, if you are interested, I just said that twice, um, hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.